Hey guys, it's Dawn Marie, and in this lesson, I'm going to teach you about bridge pages and how you can actually create more product sales for your affiliate product. So in this lesson, we're going to learn what is a bridge page, why you should have one in your marketing, what to include on your bridge page, and how to create a bridge page. So what is a bridge page? Basically, in marketing, it is the page that stands between the lead capture page and the sales page. So in my previous lesson, I spoke about um, lead capture pages. So after the lead capture page, when the lead opts in, the next page that they should see is your bridge page. Ideally, you shouldn't send them to the affiliate product. And I'll tell you why in just a moment. So you should be sending them to a bridge page and that page is going to be, that page is going to come wedged between the lead capture page and the sales page. And the bridge page also helps you pre-sell your product. So instead of sending the lead or your traffic to the affiliate product or if it's a network marketing product that you are promoting instead of sending them directly to the affiliate product you want to pre-sell your product you, this gives you a better chance of converting that person into a sale because you can connect with them on the bridge page so why should you use a bridge page well it helps you to build your relationships quicker with your audience at the end of the day, people buy a product based on what, what, based on what someone else recommends. Uh, so on the bridge page, you can create a, a five minute, 10 minute video of yourself, just introducing you in, and introducing the product, speaking a little bit about it. It helps you connect with your audience. They can see who they are buying from and they get to, to see that you are a real person. So if you send the traffic directly to the affiliate product, there is no, in, there is no, um, what can I say? There is nothing to convince them that the product is what it says it does. But if you connect with them in a video and you speak to them and you tell them why they should be buying the product, why they should buy the product from you, what benefits there are going to be if they purchase the product, then you can encourage or influence that person to make a sale immediately. You can also stand out from your competition because there are so many people who are sending traffic directly to, a, to the affiliate product without building that relationship. So by you standing out from your competition, it helps you to, to get more sales. People will, they are probably interested in the product, but they just want a little bit more pushing to purchase. So if they see someone, a real person, giving a review of a product, offering testimonials, etc., then that is likely to persuade them to purchase the product immediately. And again, well, as I mentioned before, you can pre-sell your product to increase sales conversions. So I think a bridge page in your marketing process is absolutely crucial to help you increase sales conversions. So you have the lead capture page first, and I explained in my previous lesson why that is important. Then you should send the lead from the lead capture page to the bridge page so that they can build that relationship quicker. It helps you stand out from the competition and on that bridge page, you can pre-sell the product. Now, what do you include on your bridge page? You include a headline. So you basically tell the lead what they are about to see in the video. You can also um, perhaps tell them that uh, with regards to the, to the, um, the lead opt-in, when they opted in maybe for a free giveaway, you can tell them that the giveaway was sent to their email inbox. So you can use the headline um, for that purpose to tell them that the giveaway was sent to their email inbox and to look there for, for that giveaway. Or if you just want to go right into the video, you can use that headline to say what the video is about so it entices them to actually watch the video. It's important that you also include a subheadline. So you really want to be telling 
your leads. I mean, sometimes we think that people know what to do next, but when you actually spell it out to them, hey, there's a video below, watch that video now to see the next step, then that is spelling, spelling it out so you can include that in your subheadline. You will obviously want a video of yourself. This is highly recommended, a video of yourself so they see that you are a real person. And you can include text. I know that there are some people who are a little bit wary about putting their face on camera. But to be honest, there is nothing, there's no reason why you should not present yourself to someone who you want them to purchase from. You want them to purchase from you. Um, I, you may have your own reasons. I don't know. But it is strongly recommended that you, you just become a little bit more brave and show yourself on camera to the person so that they can see that you are a real person. If you're not prepared to use video, then that's fine, but it's, it probably will reduce con sales conversions. And in that case, you can use text to explain what you want to say. You can also include a review in your video. So that would be like a review of the product while you are recommend recommending it. <coughs> Sorry, the benefits of the, of the product um, the features of the product, you can also speak about uh, um, what the product is like, uh, what they would get if they purchase the product. You can also make an offer. So why should they purchase the product from you? What additional bonus can you give to them to encourage them to purchase the product from you? Remember, these leads probably have already seen the product, but if you can offer them an additional bonus, that will encourage them to purchase the product from you as opposed to someone else, then you are more likely to get the sale because if the product, let's say, costs $57 and they, are, they can purchase the product either from person A or person B, both persons are offering the same product for $57, but person B decided to offer two more bonuses to help with the lead. So they are now getting three products for the price of $57 with person B, whereas with person A, they're only getting one product. Who do you think they are going to buy from? Obviously, person B, because they are getting more value for their money. So uh, that's a huge thing that you should be doing um, when you are promoting an affiliate product. And not many marketers will tell you this, but it is a really neat hack and trick to include in your marketing to increase conversions. You must also include a call to action and you must also say in the video, there's a button below this video that takes you on to the next page to purchase the product. Click that button below and move on to the next page. So spell it out again, just how you spell it out with the headline. Spell it out in your video that there is a button. That's your call to action. So your call to action tells the lead what they are to do next. Then you can include some testimonials just as social proof to show that the product does work with other people, that people are getting results, or etc. That is likely to influence them. So these things like the testimonials, the offer, the review, the videos, they are all there and they are ploys that you can use to encourage the lead to make a purchase immediately. Now, how do you create a bridge page? You can create a bridge page, bridge page sorry, using lead page software like ClickFunnels or lead pages. I use lead pages and I'm going to show you an example of the um, an example of the bridge pages that I have in my own business. So this, I showed you this as my lead capture page in the previous lesson. So this is my blogging lead capture page. I want to generate leads for my blog course. So what I have done is when the person clicks on the call to action and they enter their details here, it goes on to my next page, which is this one. So you can see that I said, cheers, mate. Watch the video below for the next step. So I'm telling the lead what they should be doing. And you can see that I have a video here. Now, all that I'm doing is just building a relationship to show the lead that I am a real person and what they should be doing. So I'm telling them to go to their inbox and find the link to click on so that they can get access to my email course. So let's just listen for a moment about what I said.
Okay, so you can see from that video, I've demonstrated who I am. Um, I have told the lead what they should be doing next. So that's all that you need to really to have in your own videos. So you are building that relationship quicker. They can see that you are a real person and they're more likely to, to trust you. Now, another um, lead capture page that I have is this one, the strategy I used to make my first dollar online affiliate marketing. So it's a course that I am giving and this is the, this is the, um, One minute. This is the actual bridge page. So here is my headline. Discover the system that I am using for massive growth in my business. And my sub headline, the course has been sent to your email inbox. So I'm telling them what the video is about. So it's a system I'm using for massive growth. And the, the sub headline is I'm directing them to their email inbox to find the course that I sent to them. So again, I have a video, then my call to action, just continue to the webinar. Let's just see what I'm saying here in the video. Okay, so you can see in this video, I'm introducing what I'm about to show them on when they click on the, the call to action. I'm telling them about systems and tools that I used in my business. So again, pre-selling them, pre-framing them for what they're about to see when they click on the call to action, which continues to the webinar. So I use lead pages to create these bridge pages and also my own lead pages, my lead capture pages. I'll put a link in the description box below for if you wish to use lead pages as well, just to try it out. There is a 14 day free trial. Yes, it is an affiliate link and I do get a commission. If you do make a purchase by using my link, it is at no additional cost to you, but it's simply a thank you from lead pages just for referring my audience to them. I hope you will like the use and functionality of lead pages. I think it's super easy. And I also have a tutorial on how I create these pages with lead pages. I'll put it somewhere in the description box below. So I hope you understand what bridge pages are now. Use them in your marketing. You will see amazing results when you use it and apply it to either network marketing and affiliate marketing. As always, any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments if you're looking at this on YouTube, or you can simply reply to the email letting me know. See you in the next lesson, guys. Bye-bye.